How can you financially live comfortable in Southeast Asia? Well, it may surprise you that the idea for financial independence and retirement early originated in a book from 1992. Over the years, the idea of financial independence has transformed in our modern day. With the desire to live a financially free lifestyle and retire early came the modern day movement referred to as FIRE. As this is not a financial channel, we will not be going too deep into the process Process today, what we will be discussing predominantly is how you can apply this FIRE movement to live in Southeast Asia. So naturally, this is not financial advice and it's recommended to speak to an independent financial advisor. So the burning question is, what is FIRE? The abbreviation stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. The process of this movement changes slightly depending on the individual circumstances and personal goals. Typically, the lifestyle requires saving as much money as possible and investing this in an investment that will allow the investor to retire early and live off the interest of their investment. The rules are somewhat non-linear, but most aim to retire in their 30s and 40s, and to do this, they will need to save anywhere from 40% to 80% of their income. On the other side of the coin, there are some people who try to burn this idea, and we will look at the criticism later on. The 4% theory has become like wildfire as it's gained popularity among those who wish to retire early and live in Southeast Asia. In its simplest terms, the 4% rule is a percentage a retiree can withdraw from their investment each year. This is also referred to as the safe withdrawal rate. The reason 4% is 4% and not 2%, 5% or 15% is because inflation on average is at 3% and investment returns are typically around the 7% mark. So taking inflation into account means that you can withdraw 4% without worrying that your money will disappear. These numbers of course are based on an average and each country will differ on their specific percentages. As a guideline for inflation, the global inflation rate has been between 2.7 to 3.5 over the last five years. Nonetheless, many factors influence the 4% rule. You may wish to read about the Trinity study for more more information. So now that the basics have been covered, let me turn my attention back to you. You are looking to retire and live in a different country, and if you're anything like the other 7.7 .7 billion people in this world at this moment, you wish to enjoy life and not worry about your financial status. Thus, the question is, how do you get started with FIRE? Our understanding changes depending on perceptions, judgments and speculations, and this is why it's best to focus on the facts when playing your strategy. Details in your plan include your current age, the age you wish to retire, the location you're planning to retire to, your current investment and how much you will need. Most financial gurus recommend
this to a generalised audience. However, with the world becoming more globalised, it's now even easier than ever to invest in other countries. So, for the pleasure of my subscribers, over 84% of which are American, we will use the investment products that are from the US. According to historical data, over the last 10 years, the lowest return the S&P 500 has returned was minus 6.24%, which, as you've probably guessed, happened in 2018. The highest increase was just under 30%, so typically the return is around 10% yearly. But is the stock market your best option? Some investors have started to turn to different types of investments, such as cryptocurrency. Unfortunately, as the cryptocurrency world is still relatively new in relation to other investments, the future of cryptocurrency remains unclear. Other investors decide to make a more physical investment and invest in real estate. The reality is, is that there is a great deal of investment options both locally and internationally. This is the stage where you decide where to place your money and what what investment vehicles will generate the best returns long term. A common misconception in the financial world is the word tactics. Many believe that tactics are the same as strategy. However, the strategy is more about planning and deciding, whereas tactics are more about action. Once you have decided where you will invest, the next stage is to determine what steps you will need to take to reach this fire number, aka the financial goal. In in addition, the tactics that you may wish to implement include reducing your current living expenses and paying off high interest debt. One characteristic of the FIRE movement is that it is a long-term lifestyle. Fundamentally, to reach your financial target within a certain time frame, you will either need to increase your wealth or decrease your living expenses. Some decide to move outside of the city and have a more minimalistic lifestyle and this achieves their goal sooner. One of the most common criticisms is that investors will not achieve financial independence from the FIRE movement unless they are already wealthy. The FIRE movement is more than a habit or an idea, it's a complete lifestyle change. Therefore, it is argued that those who follow this lifestyle live a lower quality of life as they do not get to enjoy the luxuries of life while they are young. Another common criticism is that this 4% rule will not be enough for the future. As we know the world is full of surprises and some believe that the financial world will look very different in the future than what it looks like now. The FIRE movement is a well-designed process but it may not be appropriate for everybody. However, the principles of this model are robust and even if you choose not to retire early, you can still use this method ready for your new journey. 